Hey everybody, happy Easter. I thought I would do a door dashing on Easter vlog today. Is anything even open on Easter? Well, Starbucks is anyway. Cause I got me an ice caramel macchiato. I was sitting in the drive-thru and I was literally thinking, I feel bad for people who have to work on Easter. And then I think, wait, I'm working on Easter. That's how much I actually like doing DoorDash. I just love how I don't even think of my job as a job. It's like, I forget that I'm working too. <laughs> Bruh. Now I'm just waiting for some orders to come in. I think there's a few places open today. I mean, I think Easter isn't really one of those holidays where a lot of places are closed. I just got an order to Smokey Moe's Barbecue. <laughs> okay. oh. Oh. I have to go for Derek. Should I just sit down and wait? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Thousands of tears later. Bruh, that was like the busiest it's ever been in that place. I eventually just turned off my camera because I was like waiting there for a while. I got the order and now I'm on my way. Yay, totals higher than the 775 shown on acceptance. I just got an order for five guys for 650 for a little over three miles. Look at my hair. <laughs> and then I got an order for my pizza for like $4 for a little, for like not even a mile. So I just took that as well. Hi, I have a DoorDash for Fabian. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, she said another Sprite. Sprite? Yeah. She said two Sprite, right? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. So I just dropped those two orders off and while I was dropping the first order off, I got another order, uh, stacked order from, from DoorDash for like $6 for 2.2 miles and I was going to take it, but then like I realized it wanted me to drop off the first order, go to Chili's, pick that order up, then I guess drop off the second order and then drop off the Chili's order. This guy is going to be waiting forever for his food. Poor guy got a milkshake and I was like, nah, I'm not going to make this guy just like sit here and wait. Oh, I canceled it. What the hell, DoorDash? So now I just got an order from BJ's restaurant and brew house. 975, for I think like six miles or something. So I'm going to go pick that up. Yeah. I have a pickup for Tara, see? Thank you. Yay, another hidden tip. This must be my Easter gift from DoorDash. I like totally forgot I got this bagel like two hours ago when I got my Starbucks drink. I was like, why am I so hungry? 
and I'm like, oh wait, I never ate my bagel. I'm gonna take a break and eat this and then do some more dashing. I'm back you guys and I just got an order to Wayback Burgers for eight miles for 12.25. So I'm gonna go pick that up. Thank you. Can I have a pickup for Corey B? Corey B? Oh, yeah. Sorry, a lot of people have been faking okay. them. Oh, really? Yeah, they, they take a screenshot and they cancel the order. Oh they my god. That's horrible. Have a good day. That's crazy what he was saying about people stealing the food like that. Oh dear. That's a lot of deer. Oh. There you go. Thank you so much. Have a great night. You as oh, well. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> There's this area where I live where you drive down the road and there's deer everywhere. And they're like really small deer. I've never seen that before <laughs> until I moved here. So I just got ordered a Chili's for $8 for five miles. I'm at the curbside to go and it wants me to enter my parking spot. I've done this before and it's hit or miss. Sometimes they come out and bring the food and sometimes I have to go on and get it. So I'm just gonna wait here a little bit and see what happens. Just pick up by 4.58 and it's 4.54 right now. So I'll probably wait like five or six minutes. Thank you. Yay, they brought it out. Matthew is a real one. He says, leave at my door. Gate code for neighborhood is House is at the end of Coldy Sack with an entry gate. Entry gate will be open. Drive down long driveway and leave food at entry door by garage. If driveway gate is closed, just hit the call button and gate will open. Like that's what I'm talking about because when I get orders and it's complicated to like figure out where to put the order or get to their pla their place or go to the wrong gate, it's very frustrating. And I know it's frustrating for you guys too. So it's really nice that when people give you actual like legit directions, so you're not getting confused. You're the goat. Another hidden tip. Okay, so it's like 5.30 and, and I'm waiting for more orders. I haven't gotten anything yet. Oh, I just got something. What is it? Tropical Smoothie Cafe. 6.50 for two miles. Go ask the Rams. Thank you. Yeah. She was legit like, I do not want to be here. She's just like, yeah, have a great day. So I just got ordered to 54th Street for about 550 for a little over three miles. So I'm heading there now. Thank you. Ooh, well, sorry, you have a nice day. Thank you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Yay, another apartment. Probably gotten like ten dollars in hidden tips today so i am not complaining for easter i actually felt like i got a decent amount of good orders i thought it was gonna be dead but but i kept getting orders so i would say today went well i'd say i averaged about fifteen dollars an hour today i'm gonna go home and relax I have a flight tomorrow to Peru. I booked a trip to Peru, so I'm super excited about that. And I'm probably gonna film a vlog and put it up on my channel so you guys can see, I don't know, what it's like. I'm gonna go into Machu Picchu, Rainbow Mountain, around Cusco. So if you've been to Peru or wanna go, leave a comment down below. Let me know um, what your favorite part of Peru is or why you wanna go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. 
and I hope you had a great Easter. See you in my next vid.